Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. How about some Bruce Buffett? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, straight right. Big kick land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Nice punch here. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big punch land. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Way to hide that leg kick. 90 seconds to go in the opening round. Oh, high amplitude head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And that one certainly found the target. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Five minutes in the books. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching his fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Good jab. How good is that right hand? Big and kick. Oh, a huge block there. Three minutes to go. What a body kick. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Punch over the top. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Big kick land. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. Big elbow! 
elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big head kick. Seconds remain in the round. Jab hurt him a little bit. Massive elbow lands to the ground. And that's the end of round number two. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the options. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Close the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now, knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as if as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very easy match fighters. Coming together. Nobody has really 
taking a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. And he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. The right hand just misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Leg kick. Nice punch, man. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, big head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that side kick. Ooh, diving punch lands. Final minute. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice loop and punch. Big leg kick land. Nice one two there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. Misses again with a right punch. Keep your hands up. Use your 
Shot is blocked there by Lee. He lands flush with that right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Can't take many of those, you better check. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big hit to land. Under one minute remains in round five. Beautiful strike. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It's Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a fight! So as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 48 47, and 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance.